But the view is pretty great. Somebody else is brave enough to get in over there, so. Holy cow, that's so cold. Oh. Can't come all the way to the med and not get in, right? Here we go, okay. Greetings from Kalamata, Greece. Located on the western edges of the Peloponnese region, along the coastline, Kalamata is perhaps most famous for its olives. But today I'm going to show you why it may be a wonderful addition or alternative to your Greek beach vacation. Good morning from Kalamata, Greece. I'm so excited to be here for the week for a conference right here at this hotel, the Greek Hotel. <laughs> I'll give you a tour later, but I am walking into the center of town, the city center, I guess, which is kind of far from the beach, but we're gonna walk along the boardwalk and see the beautiful views. The mountains from here are incredible. So I'm excited to show them to you and see the, the downtown for myself and have some delicious Greek food as well. Let's go. I strolled along the boardwalk towards the center of town with the beach to my left and tons of cute restaurants and cafes to my right. The day before, I popped out for a meal at this taverna, which had awesome service, ice cold beer, and delicious hero. I'll be honest, the sand on the beach is not the most luxurious. <laughs> it's a uh, dark sand, and then as you make your way closer to the water, it's super rocky. <laughs> so I recommend if you are going to go here, you walk with your, your flip-flops like all the way to the water. <laughs> but the water is so calm. It's, it's like <laughs> there's hardly a, a wake of any kind. It's so beautiful here. It's very peaceful, except this is quite a busy road. And as I walk, cars are not going slowly down it. It's also low season. It's just early May. So not everything has opened back up again with normal hours. Not all of the... Not all of the beach clubs are fully out, but there are a bunch. And I went on a run this morning and I saw way more um, towards the closer to the town. But if you wanted to come and just lay by the beach, swim in the Mediterranean, it's pretty nice. I strolled through cute neighborhoods, many of which were very residential, before finding a few different churches and some stunning narrow lanes that reminded me of the side streets of some of the islands I visited in Greece last year. The old town of Kalamata is very beautiful with pedestrian streets, cool street art, historical churches, and tons of cafes and bars with tables pouring out onto the sidewalks. It all culminated with lunch at a souvlaki place that a local tour guide had recommended. I knew I was in the right place when I sat down and the waiter expected me to already know what I wanted to have without even looking at the menu. Clearly, this was a place for the locals. He apologized for the confusion and handed me the menu, which consisted of about 10 things that you could order, with souvlaki being the main star. I ordered the pork souvlaki in pitta, which came with fries, tzatziki, red onion, and tomatoes in it, as well as grilled feta, which had so many delicious toppings. And I washed it all down with my favorite Greek beer, a nice cold mamos. I will always go out of my way for a good meal. And the souvlaki at that place was amazing. So good, so cheap. 
But the standout part of that meal was the grilled feta, which was grilled inside of a like tin foil with tomato and green bell pepper and like it was spicy i don't know if it had chili flakes or cayenne pepper on it but there were some other spices on there some raw onion that they topped on it and some kalamata olives it was amazing so now i'm just walking back towards the the beach slowly through the railway park which is a cute little central city park with a little paved way this old railway car and uh, some kids play area it's very very relaxing very beautiful looking forward to be back by the sea again Okay, the railway park is an absolute highlight. Like, there's so many old trees, it's so cool. They're just all parked up on the old tracks. Really fun. I made my way back along the boardwalk towards my hotel for some time spent relaxing by the pool and the sea. Grec Hotel is located at the furthest point along the boardwalk with a great pool area and a nice bar. I had a fantastic view of it from the balcony in my room each morning. But it was the direct access to the beach that I really loved most of all. The weather hasn't been perfect. It's cloudy. It's windy. But I've been swimming in the ocean and it feels so good, so beautiful here. The sound of the sea, you get able to walk right from the hotel, right into the, uh, to the beach. How much better than this? I hope you enjoyed exploring Kalamata with me, and in fact, all of the beautiful Peloponnese region. Join me next week as we head to one of the islands in a different part of the country to hike, eat, and finally enjoy a bit of Greek sunshine. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!